The director of the Aeronautical Development Agency has confirmed that India is working on the development of a next-generation automatic ground collision avoidance system, which will help to regain control of the aircraft in case the pilot loses consciousness. It is an artificial intelligence-based application, which will perform an automatic recovery maneuver, and the helmet-mounted sensor will alert the ground control, which will take over the controls to land the aircraft. The Defense Ministry is set to take a decision on the $2.5 billion purchase of five regiments of self-propelled air defense systems for the Indian Army, after Russia strongly protested the selection of a South Korean manufacturer. The only system to qualify for the 104 systems contract was the K-30 of South Korea, while the upgraded Tunguska and Pansir systems offered by Russia had failed the mobility tests, where they could not perform as per the requirements. Russia has asked for another field trial to prove its systems, while the Indian Army is in favor of moving the K-30 acquisition case to the next stage of price negotiations. The Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robots is developing different models of mobile robots, which includes a four-wheeled robot that is designed to probe flat landscapes for the military, while the second is a mini unmanned ground vehicle, that is designed for infiltrating buildings and surveying different floors. Turkish Aerospace Industries has opened an office in Pakistan's newly raised National Science and Technology Park which is not linked to the company's sale of 30 combat helicopters to Pakistan Army, but this move might be linked to the TFX next-generation fighter, as the chairman of Pakistan Aeronautical Complex had already stated, that Turkey's TFX fighter jet is in line with Pakistan's requirement. The National Aerospace Laboratory has said, that the government needs to be the launch customer of the indigenously developed and built Saris Mark II aircraft and should place an order for at least 50 aircraft, as it is 25% cheaper than other aircraft in the same category. The National Aerospace Laboratory currently has only one order from the Indian Air Force for 15 aircraft. India is planning to launch a new satellite series called the Indian Day to Relay Satellite System, which is planned to track and be constantly in touch with Indian satellites. ISRO Chairman Dr. K. Shivan has said that the first beneficiary would be the prospective crew members of India's first man mission, and it will also be vital for future missions to Mars and Venus. Oh, Mark, drop it.